Hi guys and welcome back to SiteEng. In today's video guys, we already poured a slab, we're jumping on top, you see the concrete here and uh, the first thing we're going to be doing the slab level survey and then later uh, in that video I'm going to show you how to put it on the card and how to plot it. We maybe do even a, like a template drawing for ourselves and then we're going to put our ass builds and then obviously we're going to be marking columns all this is already done but i show you the way how to do it and how it should be happening after each pour and then guys obviously the columns will go up and again and again so let's go so guys the slab was poured yesterday so that's what it is guys you want to be actually before everyone starts if uh, if you are actually able to go on site if you're allowed to go on site before everyone, that's the best time really to go. Before everyone start working here, everyone start bringing the stuff here. You can do the proper survey here uh, of the slab level and then you can start marking columns. I was always doing myself like that uh, later. I'll show you actually later how it's going to be looking when all people are going to come here. They're going to start bringing the shutters for the, for the columns, uh, start bringing the cages for the columns. Uh, they're going to be one big mess here. Uh, let's say organized mess, but for you guys, it's uh, going to be very difficult to see here. Uh, engineer already here uh, he already completed the survey and uh, he's marking the columns now so that's the way you really want to do it we can survey in this case uh, probably boxes as well uh, we could do the as build survey and they offset a little bit of that ply so we got the ready boxes here I just you could see the boxes on the last video anyway so if you didn't see just jump jump there so that's the way really guys uh, you, you want to do your survey obviously guys I'm going to show you later uh, we're going to put it and we're going to prepare uh, like a survey drawing the ASBIL drawing for the client I'm going to show you also what I want to do guys uh, once you once you're here uh, we're going to start doing columns guys and then decking going to follow so uh, you want to have a look actually what's above you this is the time to look uh, at the drawing above you if you didn't have a look before now is the time as when marking the columns guys you want to actually put the height of the column as well a part of the sizes obviously so what I'm expecting uh, from uh, engineers here uh, I got the lines for the columns uh, which you're gonna see in a minute uh, I got the uh, column size and I'm got a column height as well as we had a look uh, at the before uh, decking there on that block actually there uh, you see the steps so obviously the column height is going to be changing dependent uh, what position of the column is and uh, i'm going to show you guys uh, the drawing as well so i'm going to explain it better and obviously always if you got any questions guys uh, don't forget to ask this leave the comments and i'm going to explain you as well so yeah guys uh, you're going to see here uh, the guys working on the decking so that was uh, our my last video we are covering all this you see the lines and, and the steps so you could see that so obviously once they're going to finish uh, that floor below level 2, they're going to go with the level 3 and level 4. So it's all repetitive actually. The most important thing is obviously uh, decking the levels, the drawings, uh, guys. But that's how it's going to be going. So decking, then you're jumping on top, the last video. And then you're on top here, marking the columns, giving all the information to the chippies. Giving that, uh, that step lines, which I showed in the first video here. If any steps here, I try to mark it like a dashed line. So the chippies actually know roughly where the step is. And then jumping on top and marking the, the actual step in the soffit. So guys, as you can see now, uh, the lines are marked here for the columns. Uh, you got the size of the column here as well. I'm going to show you on the other blocks. Uh, what I like to do as well is the height of the column, which in this case is a, it's a flat slab and the next floor uh, going to be without the steps. So it's going to be one level for all the columns here. But uh, that's the information you can give one big height level here. Uh, for the chippies as well you engineer marked the casting as well so that's going to be half and going into this column so very good practice uh, there's no confusion later uh, just the size of the column here uh, to be added and then uh, yeah you see the lines guys so all this uh, it's marked with the tpex and then sprayed so that's what you want to do exactly you see three to five to casting so all the information is given here so even if a foreman don't have a drawing i don't know why he wouldn't have one but even if he doesn't that's the information him given so 220 one meter column all the lines perfect guys so uh that's what you want to do and that's uh that i would be happy to have it uh so i'm happy with my engineers doing this way very good you see the long lines very long lines so when the chip you're going to put the shutter if by any chance the shutter is going to be moved later you're going to see your lines the lines is extended which is a good practice as well for yourself and for everyone really sorry guys i think that'll be all uh, obviously i'm going to jump on the drawings we're going to put that uh, as built survey here uh, how to do the survey guys with the edm obviously you can see on my video covering the survey uh, from the setting out series i'm going to you're going to see the link above here 
so that's the way you can see we got a nice signage here uh, for the footpath as well for the walking area then there's already stuff here on top guys that's what i told you you want to be first thing in the morning as all the stuff going to come later and believe me this is not worse because you could still actually probably be able to set out with no problem but in some cases guys it's so much stuff on slab later it's impossible and even if you want to check the slab level now it's impossible in these areas here so that's what i'm saying first thing to go in the morning slab level survey which we're going to just put on the drawing in a minute and then marking the columns and all that stuff so guys uh, obviously the next step going to be columns up uh, pouring the columns and then the decking and decking was the video number one from this small series so you can go back to this and this is going to be repetitive so once you got a decking then you go up to the decking then the pre-pour uh, slab is being poured like now and you're jumping in marking columns and then again again and obviously checking the drawings uh, if there is anything uh, changing on the high levels uh, that's what i'm looking for actually here uh, the information is given for last look and uh, the column here uh, it's a nice joint ready they use the retardant on it it's jet washed and the information for the for the guys here it's a one meter column bar 220 so they cannot go wrong really you got information here look at the height of the columns here 2850 column i think the engineer on this block uh, ervis done it for me so ervis leave the comment and that was just for me please and then yeah so all the columns here information you got the 200 wall and the, the information about the half fence here as well so uh, chip is going to know there's a half fence when i'm going to be checking I, i'm going to know as well and i'll have a look at the drawing to double check this but uh, that's the best guys actually for yourself once you're going to give information like this there's no confusion later and then shouldn't be any question asked once you leave it on the slab here once you leave everything all the lines all info like that then it's, it's easy for you, you can focus on, on the next part maybe you can have a look at the drawings now for the next level it's time to be, time to be checking the next level so guys, uh, that's our slab here, we just pour this and uh, that's the information we're going to be taking uh, from this drawing, from the GA drawing and uh, we're going to have a quick look uh, at the next level slab to get the height of the columns the guys using here are the robotic instruments so as I said, you can check on my setting out series as well but you got all information, all setting out the information of these columns and lines but once you got the drawing in the instrument you just tap the lines and uh we're going to probably using the reference line here or the stakeout maybe to have a corner of the columns and then uh, get the two lines if you're working in the uh, local coordinates so guys uh, that's the information here uh, once we start doing our survey that's the that's the height we're going to put into the instrument we're going to put 15 uh, 560 and then we're going to just get the difference between this level and our actual slab level uh, and i'm going to jump to that drawing in a minute and uh, i just quickly go maybe and have a look for the next slab so that's the next slab here uh, you see the level is different so uh, all the rest actually looks very similar they're going to be all the same there's no steps here so we're not going to be marking any steps in this case but that's what we're going to have a look we're going to be looking actually for any steps for any differences in the soffit for the next slab and because this one is a flat one the all column height is going to be the same but just what we need to calculate the column height they're going to be the slab level of this so i'm going to take this maybe to show you a easier way i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to go back to that one and i'm going to check now what height of the columns uh we're going to be looking for what 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 column heights we're going to be pouring to actually to get us to the soffit of the next slab and obviously guys once we got the column heights we start pouring the columns to this level and uh, after the columns are poured we mark in the datum on the column then the decking and that's going to be all the same and the same really so uh, let's have a look quickly calculate this this one now so soffit of our next slab guys is 18.635 minus 250 slab because we are looking for the soffit and we're going to be putting the columns to the soffit of the slab so in this case it's 18 uh, 385 so guys the height of our new columns now getting us from this level to the next one uh, gonna be 18 i put a dot in this case uh, we're gonna get it in the meters 18385 minus our level here which is 15560 uh, 15560 and what i'm gonna do guys now i just add the 20 mil extra you could see this on my other video as well we want these columns to be put a little bit above the soffit to make it much easier for the decking to deck around them really uh, and that's that's the good practice and that equals two meters uh, eight forty five 
millimeters guys so that's the height of our columns and that's what we're going to be marking actually on the slab next to the column dimensions and uh, next to the column lines so guys uh, one more drawing i'm going to show you uh, going to be the as -built drawing and you can see this is already done as uh, i said i still don't have a cad license guys i thought i'm going to show you this but you can see this actually on one of my video going to find link above how to put the survey on the drawing so that's going to be exactly the same case which is going to get our dxf data from the controller and we're going to put it on top of our slabs once the drawings are coordinated and everything is in the same grid so that's very easy guys i just recommend you to jump to that video if you want to have a look how to do it guys but that will be the drawing so as i said once we put our height into instrument that's going to be we're going to get the results uh, the difference between our slab level the level we put into the instrument and uh, the real level we are shooting so uh, that's how the survey going to be looking so that survey going to be submitted then to client and uh, obviously you want to have a look yourself uh, how our slab is being poured and this is going to be marked if it's out of tolerance or in this case if it's all in tolerance it's no point to mark it really so guys uh, if you got any questions and uh, if you want to see again once i got uh, my cad license i can show you this just let me know if you want to see step by step how to how to put that as we draw in there and uh, yeah that'll be all for this uh, video in terms of drawings guys so yeah guys that'll be all in today's video i hope i explain you well all this stuff once the slab is poured and uh, if you got any questions obviously leave the comments we put the as built on the drawing so i hope you know uh, everything now how to do it how to plot it on the card and take the information and uh, using obviously my setting out series about the surveys uh, and yeah guys thank you again for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel follow my linkedin page and check my coffee page as well see you next time